iRadio UM roaming across your mind. Thank you very much for choosing iRadio UM as your favorite internet radio station. Now you are with me, Fatin, and Zach here. Yes, hello listeners, good day to you. And uh, today, Fatin, mm-hmm. we're going to look at broken English mm-hmm. and how to say it right. Oh, right. Yeah, so we will look at some common conversation mm-hmm. and some broken English jokes. Mm. Uh, but, but before that, what do we mean by broken English? Mm-hmm. Now, broken English is either uh, using the wrong words, phrases or expressions. Mm-hmm. Uh, we use redundant words, example, uh, please repeat again one more time. <laughs> or please revert back, you mm-hmm. know, that, that is re- re- redundant words, mm-hmm. uh, bad grammar, mm-hmm. and also, this is very common, mm-hmm. direct translation from Bahasa Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Direct translation. Yes. Now, let us look at some uh, common daily conversation. Mm-hmm. We're going to see what went wrong and how to say it right. So, mm-hmm. here goes, yeah. Mm-hmm. I will read the scenario. Mm-hmm. A Malay driver was driving his American boss. The car in front of him stopped suddenly causing him to crash and hit the bumper. Mm-hmm. The driver says, Sorry sir, I break break, do not eat. After I check the wheel, no flour again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the American boss wanted to go out to scold the other driver. Mm-hmm. Then his driver stopped him and says, Don't enter mix sir. The bring that car, if not wrong I, is the children fruit from manager Manis. He stupid doesn't play. Let he taste. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And the next day, the driver did not go to work. Mm-hmm. Ah, the following day, mm-hmm. when he came back to work, the American boss asked him, mm-hmm. Why didn't you come to work? Okay, then the driver answered, mm-hmm. I am sorry boss. My body is not delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My body tastes like enter the wind. Oh my, oh my god, god Fatin. Oh. What, what do you think went wrong here? Oh my English. Oh my English. Uh, a lot of correction needs mm-hmm. to be done here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, uh, listeners, this is a typical direct translation from Bahasa Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, let us take a look at it closely. Mm-hmm. Now, we are, I'm going to read in, in, in English, the broken English. Mm-hmm. Fatin is going to read in Bahasa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. See, you can see that it's a direct uh, translation from Bahasa Malaysia. Sorry, sir. I break, break. Do not eat. After I check the wheel, no flour again lah. Mm. It means? Maaf, tuan. Saya break, break. Tak makan. <laughs> <laughs> Selepas saya check tayarnya, tak ada bunganya lagi. Ah, That's why I know the wheel, no flour again. <laughs> Direct translation. Mm. Eh? Ah, flour is bunga, betul? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> the next one. Don't enter mix, sir. The bring that car, if I'm not wrong, I, is the children fruit. From manager Manis, he stupid doesn't play. Let he taste. Okay, let's see how. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> let, let's Jangan masuk campur tuan. Ah, that one don't enter mix. Uh-huh. Okay. Yang bawa kereta, ka, yang bawa kereta itu kalau tak salah saya, anak buah dari pengurus kewangan. Oh, anak buah is fruit, fruit children ah. fruit. Ah. Children fruit. Okay. <laughs> okay, fruit fruit. fruit, fruit. Okay. Dia memang bodoh bukan main. Ha. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Biar dia rasa Let he taste Let he taste Oh my god This is so cute Okay I'm sorry boss My body is not delicious My body tastes like Enter the wind <laughs> Minta maaf boss okay. Badan saya tak sedap Not delicious uh-huh. Okay Badan saya rasanya Macam masuk angin Oh like enter the wind eh? uh-huh. Enter the wind So listeners If you want know The correct answer Tune stay with me <laughs> okay, it's going to be for a while, did you? I really owe you roaming across your mind. My body not delicious. Mm-hmm. Don't enter me. Yes. Let he taste. Yeah. Okay, how to say it right? Okay, you are back with me and Zach. Okay, now uh, we are going to look at the uh, sentences again mm-hmm. and we're going to correct them. So, this is very relevant for drivers. So, OUM drivers, if you're listening in, Shamo, yeah, <laughs> let's see how do we say this right. Okay, okay. Uh, here goes. Sorry, sir, I break, break, do not eat. After I check the wheel, no flour again. Lah. So, how do we say it right? Mm-hmm. So, we say, Sorry, sir, the brake is not functioning well. Don't say, don't break, break. The brake is not functioning well. 
when I check the tyres, it has all gone bald. Mm. Uh, and it's not no flower. No flower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Double tuck, you know? Mm-hmm. So the wheel, the tyre has gone bald. Mm-hmm. So that's how we say it, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, the next one. Mm-hmm. Don't enter mix. Oh, this one like mix, mix fruit cake, yeah? Don't enter mix. The bring that car, if if not wrong, I, I'm boy, I'm boy. <laughs> is the children fruit from the manager monies. He stupid doesn't play. Let it taste. Okay, this is how it should read. Please do not interfere, boss. Not, not what what is it? Don't enter mix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jangan masuk campur. Yeah, jangan masuk campur. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Please do not interfere, boss. The car owner. The bring that car. The bring that car. The is somebody. So the car owner, if I'm not wrong, is the nephew of a finance manager, mm-hmm. not children fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Nephew. Nephew. Mm-hmm. Nephew or niece. Mm-hmm. It refers to anak buah. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, he stupid doesn't play. He is really stupid. Yeah. And he deserve it. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't let him taste. Biar dia rasa. That's, that, that's really direct translation. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and the next one is so hilarious. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry boss. My body is not delicious. Delicious. You're only talking about food. Good. Yeah, mm-hmm. can you eat people's body? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> my body tastes like enter the wind. Mm-hmm. So this is how it should read, yeah, correctly. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, boss. I don't feel good, or you can say I'm not well. I've got a lot of wind in my body. Don't say wind enter your body. Mm-hmm. I've got a lot of wind in my body. So time to go for a massage. Mm-hmm. Massage. <laughs> to go for a massage, yeah. Okay, remember, yeah, listeners. Mm-hmm. It's not don't enter mix. Mm-hmm. Uh, let he taste. <laughs> Those are all very direct translation from Bahasa Malaysia. Mm-hmm. I got one more. Mm-hmm. Here's another scenario, scenario mm-hmm. and it's called Chinese sick leave. I know, come work today. You should listen to this carefully, yeah. This right. is a broken English joke. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what is the title again, uh, Fatin? Chinese sick leave. I know come work today. Yeah. Here goes. Listen carefully. Yeah. Chow, that's the name of the man, mm-hmm. calls into work and says, Hey, I know come work today. I really sick. I got headache, stomach ache, and leg hurt. Uh. I know come work uh, today. Mm-hmm. Right. Then the boss says, I really need you today. When I feel like this, Chow, I go to my wife and tell her to give me a good body massage. That makes everything better and I go to work. You try that, Chow. Two hours later, mm-hmm. Chow calls in again. I do what you say and I feel great. I be at work soon. You got nice house. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, listeners. <laughs> what happened here? What happened here? This is a sheer mis- misunderstanding, misunderstanding or misinterpretation of the word you try that. Mm-hmm. What the boss man what you try on your own, go for a body massage, mm-hmm. not ask my wife to massage you. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> okay? So that is what we call Chinese sick leave. Mm-hmm. I know work today. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, we will be right back after this. <laughs> Welcome back with me and Zach in Learning English with Zach yeah. for today. Yes, Fatin, I collected some broken English um, over the years, some English incidents. And uh, you know when I had uh, my, uh, my conversation with my, or interactions with my students mm-hmm. or, or other people in general. So these are some of my collections, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, this is at a get-together session. Mm-hmm. A lady was talking about his family. Okay. She introduces herself and she said, I have two daughters. Both of them are girls. <laughs> Very clever, huh? Mm-hmm. And it could also mean I have two sons. And both of them are boys. We either got a boy or a girl, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so how, how do we say it right, listeners? Daughters are girls. Mm-hmm. And sons are, are boys. boys. It cannot be vice versa, mm-hmm. yeah? Okay, so you just say I have two daughters. Mm-hmm. And I have two sons. Mm-hmm. And I have a husband. Can I say I have a husband and he is a female? Cannot be. <laughs> Cross gender. No gender confusion here. Huh? Okay. Now, someone said this while giving instructions to a group of children. 
Now let's see ya. I'm going to check Fatin this time. La, 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 let's la. see if you could identify where's the error. Mm-hmm. Number one. Mm-hmm. Instruction. All of you children stand in a straight circle. <laughs> An instruction to a group of children. Mm-hmm. All of you children, please stand in a straight circle. Mm-hmm. So what's the error here, Fatin? Uh, straight circle. Uh, Straight line or in a circle? Exactly. Straight line. Yeah, mm. this is very confusing. So you're confusing the children either to stand straight circle. Straight normally refers to a line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you should read, please stand in a straight, in line, a straight line or stand in a circle. Mm-hmm. So instructions must be clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cannot be confusing. Confused. Okay, the next one. Mm-hmm. They are this group of 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 uh, students are blowing balloon. Yeah. And one of them said. There is no wind in the balloon. Mm. There are a lot of people confused between wind and air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, how do we say it right here, Patti? There is no, no wind. Air. In, uh, early on, the driver said, "Wind enter my body." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In this case, there is there no wind. There is no air in the balloon. Exactly. There's no air in the balloon. Mm-hmm. So this is um, vocabulary, mm-hmm. the correct usage of of the word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The next one. Mm-hmm. Well, this refers to us. Mm-hmm. The teacher was trying to call one of the girls. So this is what she said: "The girl with the mirror, please comes here. Please comes here to see me. The girl with the mirror. Okay. Ooh. This is not Cinderella. Mirror, mirror in the wall. Yeah. So where's where's the error here? The girl with the mirror. Huh? The girl with." Back. Yeah, it should be the girl with 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 the spectacles, mm-hmm. with the round spectacles. Mm-hmm. So it should be spectacles, yeah, listeners. Mm-hmm. Not 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 a mirror. Not a mirror. mirror. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the uh, this one is is on the school field. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the teacher was saying, pointing at you. You rotate the ground four times. Ah, oh boy, rotate. <laughs> How can you rotate the ground? Yeah. <laughs> so where's the error error here? You rotate. Rotate means when you go walk, uh, walk around the field four times. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So rotate is not a, a, a suitable word here. Mm-hmm. It should it should be either you jog or you walk mm-hmm. or you or you go round the field four mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you jog round four times? Two times maybe. Two times. <laughs> I have. Half, half, half. Okay, all right. Rotate, yeah. Okay, the next one. Oh, this is this is very common, yeah. You there, go and understand the tree. I don't know who is understanding who. <laughs> go and understand, understand the tree. The tree. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stand. Understand. Stand under the tree. Exactly. So huh. please go and stand under, under the tree. tree. Yeah. Understand here means do you? Comprehend, mm-hmm. but this is a verb. Mm-hmm. You stand under stand. the tree, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stand under the tree. It's mm-hmm. two different words here. Mm-hmm. All right, the next one. Ha, huh. you, three of you, stand together separately. Are you? I don't know what kind of instructions is this. Yeah. Stand together. Again. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 three you, of you, you. stand together mm-hmm. separately. <laughs> separately. Oh, you, are you, you. Okay. Where's the okay. error here? Stand together separately. Maybe you can. Uh, we can use stand stand together or stand separately. Yeah, mm. either you stand together. Mm. It's very confusing, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah, and you you can't blame the together, children sometimes. Together, together, stand spreading. together and then separately. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So teachers, especially if you're a PE PE teacher, mm-hmm. you should give instructions clearly. You don't confuse them. Sometimes it's not it's not the children's fault. Mm-hmm. It's the teacher's fault. The teacher's yeah, mm-hmm. it's just like the other day when when mathematics was first introduced in in English. In English? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what 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 was told to me. Mm-hmm. She overheard a a, a, a teacher mm-hmm. uh, inst- instructing the children. Mm-hmm. Eight push three. How many? How <laughs> come? Oh, eight push three. Eight minus mm-hmm. three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, again, it's it's the usage of word here. Mm-hmm. Ha. The next one, Fatin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fatin, why are you late? Say yes or no. Yes or no? Yeah. Why are you late? <laughs> Say yes or no. Now, listeners, it's good to ask questions, mm-hmm. but you must know why you ask the questions and what information you're trying to get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So remember, why questions cannot be answered with a yes or yes no. Or no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it should be, are you late today? Ah. Uh, do you come late every day? 
why? Yes or no? <laughs> so why? You use why questions for explanation, for reasons. Yeah? So be careful, yeah? Okay, why are we where am I here? Yes or no? <laughs> out. Out. That's out, yeah? Okay. Ah, the the <laughs> I hope my sister is listening in, yeah, when we were both children. Mm -hmm. I picked this up. Mm -hmm. Hello, uh, can you help me carry this box? So the student replied, just now lah. <laughs> just now lah. So where's the error here? Please help me carry the box. Mm -hmm. Then the other person said, just now lah. Just now. Just now means what? Just now means it has happened. Mm -hmm. So wrong you say it should be later. later or afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just now la. Uh, just now. Just now mm -hmm. la, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, stop here for a while, Zach. We will be rich you right back. <laughs> English week Zach with me and Zach here. Yes, okay. We have looked at two scenarios and we see how broken English is mainly used either from using direct translation from assimilation mm -hmm. or using the wrong words. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna look at a scenario inside the classroom. Now these conversations took place, yeah? Open the doors of the window. Let the atmosphere come in. Wow, very scientific word, huh? <laughs> let it should be let the it should be open the windows. Mm -hmm. It should not be open the doors of the windows. This mm -hmm. sounds so like professor. Mm -hmm. yeah? Very detailed. Mm -hmm. So it should be open the doors. Uh, sorry, op open, open the, the windows. windows. <laughs> open the windows. Let the not the not the wind, not the air. Uh, it's not the atmosphere. It should be let the air, air. comes in. Mm -hmm. yeah? Let the air comes in. Yeah. Okay. I think cut an apple into two halves. Take the bigger half. I don't know who is confused here. <laughs> yeah? When you say half, well, what does it mean? It's equal parts. Mm -hmm, equal it's parts. equal parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, 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 we can say take either one. Mm -hmm. uh, because both is of the same size. Mm -hmm. yeah? You cannot say mm -hmm. take the bigger half. Confusing, Confusing. isn't it? <laughs> Confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just like um, pizza. Cut into two, you take the bigger, give in the whole box. <laughs> Better, yeah? <laughs> okay. okay. The next one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Shh. Quiet boys, the principal just passed away in the corridor. <laughs> just passed away in pass the corridor. Away. Pass away. Pass, pass away. away means you patai. Patai means you die. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. So in the principal just passed. Pass. Yeah, along the corridor. Mm -hmm. Along, not in again. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Okay. Pass. Ha. You meet me behind the class. Imagine, no? you meet me. I really appreciate their, their endeavour, their effort to want to speak the language. Yeah, mm -hmm. But you want to speak the language, you must say it right. Mm -hmm. First time, two times is okay. Mm -hmm. But if you keep speaking broken English, you, it gets you nowhere. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Once you've made the mistake, listeners, you learn and you don't reapply it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Alright, the next one. You meet me behind the class today, Fatim? Behind? Behind. <laughs> it means it should be after class. After class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please meet me after class today or please meet me after the recording today. Mm. Yeah, not after, mm -hmm. not not behind. Not behind. Oh, the, the next one is also confusing. Yeah, uh -huh. both of you three, <laughs> get out of class. Both of, both you, of you three. The <laughs> word both alone is mm. two. It's just two. Mm. So both of you three. So it should be the three of you. The three of you. Ah, the three of mm. you. Don't act clever. <laughs> Don't act clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the three of you, mm -hmm. please. Get out of class, yeah? Mm. This is a rather rude word, yeah? Mm. Rude word, please, then. <laughs> okay, the next one mm -hmm. for engineers, yeah? Mm -hmm. Take copper wire of any metal, especially of silver. You want the person to take, you're confusing them which one to take. If there's gold, I pick gold. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So take copper wire. Copper is already a metal. metal. Then you also... Then you say of any metal, mm. then you specify especially silver. Silver. Yeah, or you, the, the right way of, of saying this is, take the copper wire. Mm. Yeah? Okay. Or you can say, take any metal, mm. either copper wire or mm. silver. silver. Don't say all. Mm. You're confusing them. You're mm. not helping them. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The next one is also similar. Take 5 cm wire of any length. 
of any length. Mm-hmm. Any length means it's totally up to them how long they want to cut. Mm-hmm. But here you already mentioned 5, 5 cm. cm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. take 5 take cm of wire. wire. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Off length maybe. Mm-hmm. Take 5 cm wire off length. That's it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Not any length. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> the next one. Sorry I'm late, sir. My father hit two muttons on the road. <laughs> it's just like saying my father hit two beef mm. or two pork on the road. <laughs> this is the meat of the animal. So, mm. how do we say it right here, Fatin? My father hit two goats on the road. Kambang, you know kambang? <laughs> two goats, not mutton. mutton. No, if you say my father hit two beef, it should be cow. Mm. Yeah, My mm. father hit two pox. Mm. It should be pig. Be, yeah. It should be pig. Oink, mm. oink, you know, oink, oink. <laughs> now, so again here, yeah, the, 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 the usage of words here again. Mm-hmm. Ha, this is very common. The next one, listeners, listen up. Yeah? You look see, look see first lah. I'm waiting for you outside. I overheard, I overheard this at uh, in, in, in KLCC. KLCC. KLCC, mm-hmm. a couple was talking. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You go inside and look see, look see first lah. I'm waiting outside. <laughs> Look see, look see. Look that means see. you go and have a look inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, look inside. Mm-hmm. No, no, look see, look see. Mm-hmm. Look see, I know in, in Penang got look see. Uh. <laughs> look see temple, I think. <laughs> look see temple. Uh. Look I, inside. Look yeah, inside. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You have a look. You go in and have a look inside. Mm-hmm. That's how you look see, look see like window shopping. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't play play with me. Uh. I hunt me you there, you know. Oh, you're very brutal. <laughs> very what brutal. Chukang? But this, this is typical <laughs> for Chukang and Abing. <laughs> you don't play play with me, uh, Fatin. Uh. I hantam you, uh, then you know. Mm. So it should be, you don't mess around with me. Mm. Yeah? You don't mess around with me. Mm. I hit you, then you know. Don't say hantam. Mm-hmm. This is champorization. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is very common, listeners. Mm-hmm. You tend to mix English in Bahasa, mm-hmm. so we call it mixed vegetable champorization. <laughs> champorization, yeah? Mm-hmm. Th- this is actually, it will affect Mm-hmm. affect the image of the English language. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> so that's all for today, listeners. We have looked at various broken English, mm-hmm. either through using the wrong words, mm-hmm. the wrong expressions, or using the wrong phrases, mm-hmm. uh, redundant words, mm-hmm. redundant words, mm-hmm. and uh, bad grammar, and we have seen here, mm-hmm. direct translation yeah, yeah. from Bahasa Malaysia. Mm-hmm. So lim- remember, listeners, to say it right and speak good and correct English. Yeah. So till next week, Okay. Have a good week ahead. Mm-hmm. Take care and goodbye. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>